What's going on YouTube? Old Dr. Booth is back at you once again. You know, if you watched the last one, we just kind of jumped back into things without any kind of explanation whatsoever. It's been a while, so give me a quick update. Um, I'm trying to reevaluate what direction we wanted to go with the channel. So, what we're going to do is, from this point on, once or twice a week, if possible, definitely once, maybe twice if possible. We're going to uh, just go on to Steam, pick a game at random from their free to play from some indie developer. Just gonna look for something that seems entertaining, fun. We're gonna play it and we're gonna talk briefly about it and move on from there. And I suggest you watch the videos because you never know what you just might find in them. Alright, so what we are bringing you today is Be You by Louis Morel. This game was released on February 4th. It is available for you on Steam. That's Louis, or yeah, I think it's Louis Morel. Uh, do, 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 let's see what happens with the person. The doctor had met that is complete slander. Today I'm feeling green. Green is so much fun. The color of life, a warm spring day. So calming. Filled with the siren call of nature, but under the surface there is so much rot. An infected cut. An eerie pallor on someone's face as they throw up. What we think of as color of poison, a radioactive meltdown. Nearly every Disney villain is enshrined in green when their big number comes. Contradiction, life and death, growth and decay, that's why green's so fun. And that's how I'm feeling today, green. How are you feeling? Eh, I don't know. How are we feeling? I'm gonna go with, let's feel, um, let's feel black. What do you prefer? Day, dusk, or midnight? Okay, I do like a nice midnight. It is midnightish. It's your favorite book. Um, books are for nerds. All that cool kid play video games. Um, well, I like that game. That book. Most merciful thing in the world, I think, is an insatiable of the human inability of the human mind to correlate all its consequences to the fact. Okay. What gender are you? Um, male. Yeah, Lewis is too lazy to draw a boy and a girl model, character model. Or I'm just making a profound statement about how gender doesn't matter and we're all the same. Wait a second. I really should have just said that and not the lazy thing. Lewis, remember to go back and edit that stuff out. Be you. See a person standing in their bedroom. Ugh. Today is their twelfth birthday, and this will be the most important day of their life. Well, you were wondering about what present your dad will get you this year. Last year you asked for a pet. I asked for a pet dog. Your dad you got you a dog. You were terrified of dogs when you were little. So your dad got you one to show you that they were okay and there was no need to be scared. Let's just say, it didn't work. You always look forward to walkies, though. Not because you want a happy stroll with your dog. Your dad goes for walks with him instead, and you finally left in peace without that whooping mad thing. How about some cereal to start the day? Extremely nummy nuts with total product surprise. Gingerbread man cereal. Oh, natural. I'm gonna go with some gingerbread man cereal. You really like that cereal, mainly because you enjoy pretending to be a giant and imagining the pleas of terror of your tiny victims as they press by your mighty jaws. The gingerbread genocide shall never end. A parcel is delivered. Your enemies are always whispering in the shadows trying to get you, but you're one step ahead. You always make sure you repeatedly stab any post delivered to you in case there's poison spiders hiding inside. Can't be too careful. One time, I found a bomb. 
The person who made it was smart. I didn't know which wire to cut because they made them all reds and so closely interwoven. Dad said it was just a red jumper and uh, Gran admitted, but you know the truth. Alas, nobody comes, nobody's coming to your birthday party. I'm sure there's some tragic reason for it, but in truth, this is a lazy piece of trash who can't be bothered to draw that many people. A strange parcel appears to open up by itself as if otherworldly ghostly hands were attempting to reveal what's inside. You have a creepy feeling up your spine, a mixture of fear and confusion, and your legs start to walk towards the parcel. You didn't tell them to. You flail your arms around in surprise, attempting to grab something to halt your progress. But there's nothing. You continue to walk forward, like a wind-up toy, till you're next to the package. You look down into it, and only see a black abyss. And unceremoniously, you begin to tumble forward into the endless precipice. The darkness all around feels suffocating, and then you're here. You don't know what here is, but you're definitely here. Oh my god, magical adventure! Gone insane. What the hell? So weird. What the hell? What the fuck? 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 Well, that is not what the hell. See previous video about the previously discussed PG rating. Screw you, Lewis. I don't care if your game gets a higher age rating because you sworn too much. The only question I have, the single thought, what my whole life has been leading up to? A combination of my very soul and this single moment can be summed up as... What the fuck? Off in the distance you hear a noise, a faint whimper. You go over to investigate. <clears throat> Wait. Second, shouldn't you have a little bunch of opinions and stuff? Forcing the player to investigate the thing with no options of whether to do it or not seems to defeat the purpose of the game. Sorry, I really should have thought of that. Here are your options. Investigate the crime scene, investigate the crime scene, or investigate the crime scene. I say we investigate the crime scene. I don't know about you, viewers, but let's... Yeah. <sighs> now, out of your own free will, you've decided to go and investigate the crime thing. God, freedom of choice is so much fun. You find a strange, sobbing creature. Whoa. <clears throat> it's Mike Wazowski. Console it, kick it, and scream, Avocados! Inspect the creature more closely. Mer. <sighs> Looks like it crawled out of the devil's rectum, half melted hideous thing with one large glassy and human eye. Tangled matted hair. I'm just glad the creature doesn't have legs. Doesn't seem to have legs. If it did, you'd be sure it'd be running at you, teeth clenched, eager to taste your blood. After the darkness comes a noise, a strange chittering, like a songbird got stuck in the church organ. Ugh. The strange creature begins fan frantically back away, dragging itself across the ground with its hands, its bottom half uselessly trailing behind it, like the end of some grotesque slug. Um, fight. Scream! Eh. 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 Yeah, I'm out. Oh, thank God. Thought you were gonna click fight. You run. Obviously, the only sensible thing to do in the situation. <laughs> ah, no creature from the deepest depths of hell are gonna sod sodomize. Spelling her. Uh, you float in the darkness. There is nothing, not the breeze on your skin, not the echo of far off laughter, not even the beat of a heart. But then. Swimming out of the emptiness comes a small flame. You are awake. Whoa! Happy birthday. 
You appear to be sitting next to a table with a small cake in front of you. You hear muffled birds. Sorry it took so long for me to make the cake. Someone came around and I was a tad occupied. Must have dozed off while you were waiting. You hear words, but somehow the words feel jumbled, faded. Your mind is rushing with the sheer insanity you just over underwent. Was it a dream? If so, that was a massive cop-out. I mean, the worst writing invention the world's ever seen. But was it a dream? Da, da, da. I guess if Lewis can ever be bothered to make a sequel, you might find out. Suddenly, that faded voice comes back into focus. I'm sorry for keeping you waiting, but can you please blow the candle out? You've been staring in the middle distance for like 12 minutes, and I do have company to attend to, you know? You look at the glimmering flame, and you wonder if anything you've just experienced matters. If in the future you will look back with pride or fear or have simply forgotten, you breathe in deeply then, what will be 20 years in the future? Look at the world around you and see a dull, drab place filled with squares and normies. An anthem of Tourette. The anthem to radical. Bless you, Mike. You start a movement that sweeps across the world, facing all the normies into re education camps. But those who resist are most uncool of all. To get a citizenship license, you now need to be able to do skateboard tricks and sing Eminem's Rap God Off. Rap got off by heart. You must wear sunglasses. Those who do not will have them forcibly nailed to their face. You change the national anthem to Snoop Dogg, smoke weed every day. <clears throat> you eventually destroy all resistance and charge into the White House on the back of a T-Rex. A zombie T-Rex by chance? Make it apart from, of course, your black sunglasses, electric guitar in hand. Electric guitar in hand. Also, the T-Rex's eyes are shooting lasers and everything's on fire. The White House was on fire. It wasn't my fault. The White House was on fire. It wasn't my fault. This game is dedicated to memory of Ed Good and John Bain. If you enjoyed this game, please be considering donating to your favorite cancer cha charity. Lewis. <laughs> okay. So, BU was made, as I said at the beginning of the video, by Louis Morrell. Uh, he is a young man from the United Kingdom who has been diagnosed with uh, Asperger's Syndrome, a form of autism. And he creates books and video games as a way of dealing with his particular form and symptoms of Asperger's in his particular case sensory overload um, but also to raise money for a charity ambitious about autism so um, by all means uh, google that shit Lewis Morrell um, check out the books pick them up buy them donate uh, whatever you can to support this because Autism research is definitely something worth uh, investing in. All right. So we're going to come back in the next couple of videos and do more of this. But until then...
We will see you in the next video.